Hey there. Well, today is another day to talk about power. And to be honest, I just recorded this and then deleted it and now I'm recording it again. And <laughs> I'm trying to get this Facebook Live thing, the hang of it. So, but really the reason why I'm here is because I don't really love social media. I really have a lot to say that I think is super beneficial to a lot of people. I've learned a lot <clears throat> about power, which is what I want to talk about. I want to start talking actually about power, purpose, love, and work. And notice they're in a specific order. Because if you don't have power, you don't know your purpose, you don't know what you love or like, so this applies to relationships as well as work, and then you have no idea what to do for a living. You have no idea how to be of service to the world. So the reason that I want to talk about power and the reason that I start with power is because the past couple of years have created this just ridiculous feeling of powerlessness. I know I have felt it more than ever, and I think of myself as someone who's worked on understanding power and control. And so this constant feeling of being told what to do and what to think and how to think it and if you didn't think it right or you did think it right, someone approved or disapproved, it leaves one with a feeling of anxiety and just being constantly provoked to be in a state of dis-ease, which is not powerful at all. And the worst part about it is, is that we're constantly being told that um, you know, you don't have power, I don't have power because someone else has it. So in other words, like once I get power from that said group or people that have it, the entitled, the privileged, the rich, the white, the government, the authority, the people in charge, the people, ba 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 ba, then in fact, I can be powerful. And that's just backwards because when it comes to power, I was infused with power at my birth, with the ability to be powerful in my way, in my manner, in my energy, in the way that I live. And I had no idea because I was filled with a whole bunch of conditioning around lack, lack of love, lack of money, lack of relationship, lack, 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 lack. So I'd attract stuff and then lose it or sabotage it. And I had no idea how to maintain power because I didn't think it was mine to have or grow. I think it was somebody else's to give me. And if they would just give it to me, I could be okay and I could be powerful. And that's just not the way it works. I'm already powerful, you're already powerful, you just don't know it. So <clears throat> despite my discomfort <laughs> with a lot of social media and Facebook type venues, I need to start getting on here. I need to start talking more about these subjects, about the subject of power, because I do have something to teach and I think it could help a lot of people. So I'm gonna be getting on here falteringly, mistakenly, fumbling, bumbling, doing it right, doing it wrong, being approved and disapproved of because there needs to be more discussion about the reality of conscious creation and what exactly it is that you're supposed to be doing on this planet. Because right now, it's almost depressing to me to see how many people are despondent, anxious, despairing, depressed, going on medication, giving up, losing sight of purpose, not really knowing what to do with themselves, feeling like hopeless. And there is a better way that's not all about like what you think you should be doing or what the world tells you that you should be doing or what some authority gives you permission to do. You gotta take back your own life. You have to know that power is within you and it's up to you to explore it and grow it. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about. If you have any questions, I'm Nicole at NicoleDevlin.com. I can be reached that way. I hope you stick around because I'm going to be talking a lot, hopefully. We'll see. <laughs>